If you know who I am, then you definitely know who Kaneko Kitten is. And if you really, really know who I am, and I mean like really, then you also probably know what I think of him and have thought of him for years. Holy shit, go outside. Fucking true. Yeah, this video has been a long time coming, uh, so much so that when I went to go create the project file for this, it gave me a notification that the file already existed, and upon searching for that file, it was, uh, May 20th, 2020. Now look. Most of you also probably know about the recent accusations Kaneko has received from his ex about abusive blah 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 blah. This video is not going to get into that. I think Narpy already did an excellent job of that. If you want to know more about it, then uh, please go watch Narpy's video. My thesis statement for this video is uh, pretty simple, and I would hope that by the end you agree with it, regardless of how big of a Kaneko rider you are. <clears throat> Kaneko was never good. His existence has been a net negative for Roblox discourse overall, um, and the fact that even a single person listened to him or cared what he had to say represents a fucking failure of the education system, I'm just gonna be honest. So I hope, I hope you enjoy. Uh, before we get into this, briefly do want to mention, uh, um, thank you for all the channel mem- Annoying ass pitched up. Love 47, Ash, Beer, Expo, Rings, Future, Double Tap, Jeff, CP, Roaster, Duster, Stad, Bucket Man, Lucy, Flare, Ryan, Odyssey, Suplex, Elect, Big Buff, Man, Astro, Idol, Rock, Rocket, Zorny, Race, 207, Heaven, Giggle, Bug, The Fat, Purple, Pickle, Silly, Can, Theo, Nix, Timber, Fox, Square, Dot, Riley, Swag, Kisser, Toxic, Nisky, Cosmental, Laughing, Crying, Emoji, Kinetic, Connor, Geo, Danny, Dork, Time, Lemelios, Daddy, O, The Travioli, Probably, Nowhere, Band, Wizard, Seven, Never Point, Hept, Is It, Alien, Weed, Redemptionist, Ka, NEZX, Wiz, The Wizard, Ski, IC67, White Monster, Fatal Phobia, Dominoes, and Afrolistic. Hey, yeah. Whoop. Whoop, buddy. Look. George, say hi. Say hi, Tracy. Say hi, buddy. Oh, he wants to get down. I'm gonna read you um a list of I guess actions, and I want you to tell me or think in your head if you agree with them or not. This is a this is a mental exercise, okay? Would you agree with someone who spread intentionally uh, hateful, incendiary, or uh, sometimes even misinformed material on the internet, okay? Would you agree with that very same person if you found out that they did it only for money? Um, like, like they did it just, they did it for money. They, they got paid from doing it. Not only are they doing it for money, exclusively for money, but, um, they don't even care about it. They, they, they lie about caring about it. They say that they care about it and they really don't. Would, would you agree with that very same person if they, I don't know, targeted this content towards young kids and teenagers between the ages of like 10 to 15? Surprise, um, uh, these are all things that the Kaneko Kitten has done and admitted to himself. Wow, what a, what a, what a shock. I never actually cared about almost anything I talked about in my Roblox commentary. I'm just gonna keep it real in this video. I really just kinda made those videos because I knew they could make money. At the end of the day, I knew what I was doing and I made a few ton of money doing it. I made, I try to make videos talking about good updates that Roblox was doing. And those videos got fewer views than videos of me just shitting on Roblox and being negative. That is the cold, hard truth. You gotta constantly sensationalize shit. You gotta make things a big fucking deal. And the only people consuming that type of stuff is really just 13 and 14 year old kids that have nothing else going on in their lives anyway. Roblox, stop this. Cause it just, you know, it was all bullshit it was just to just money farm yeah no um i i came to play today i came to play uh let me tell you right now i know i said this in the intro segment i'm literally fucking shaking right now because i hate this motherfucker okay there is hardly a script for this video i can read to you exactly what it says after the list of items right there uh, uh, um the rest of this video is going to be completely and utterly unscripted this is an issue i am very passionate about i hate this motherfucker so much i'm just going to freestyle this whole thing and edit around it as a base that's exactly what it says on the script. There's probably going to be a fair amount of, like, Kaneko fans that, like, 
coat switch, you know, like that kind of realized like the writings on the wall that Kaneko sucks and uh, that he's always sucked and then just kind of pretend that they like never liked him at all and be like, yeah, man, you know, uh, hey, hey, you know, glad I actually never liked him. Uh, don't look at my watch history. Don't look at my uh, subscriptions um, before this month. Um, I, I always hated the guy. You know, I, I, I didn't I didn't like his video. I have hated Kaneko since I got into Roblox content since I knew who he was. I don't think you guys understand. Like, I didn't watch Roblox YouTubers, not even growing up. <laughs> I didn't watch them at all. So when I got into the, like, to making videos on it, um, and I, like, I saw all these other fucking goofy goobers, like, you know, Kaneko Kitten and the, you know, lame ass commentary YouTubers that surround him. I was like, holy shit, like, this place, this, this, this fucking sucks. Like, Jesus Christ, these guys stink. And that's for, like, a number of reasons. Primarily because, and this was, like, so obvious from the get-go. Kaneko Kitten and the, you know, uh, commentary YouTubers that surround him, uh, farm issues, issues that nobody cares about. Kaneko Kitten's dog shit fucking videos follow the premise of this. It's like, hey, Roblox did like the smallest incremental change. It could be good or bad, a net positive or a net negative. Um, Kaneko is going to sensationalize it and um, start a pointless and um, self-defeating non sequitur of a discussion. Frequent like clickbait and um, I mean at this point it's not even like sensationalizing something like it's just blatant clickbait like you know take a, a banger classic video like um, Roblox might sue people dot 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 from the title and thumbnail and presentation you would think that like normal people are under attack you would think that like roblox might sue people this sounds like we gotta like sound all the alarm bells like roblox is suing like normal everyday players no 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 it's not um and in the first 15 seconds he admits this that um that no roblox is like suing doing another lawsuit against like another individual and um it's fully like justifiable i'll just say before the video begins that roblox is completely in the right here and you're, you're gonna see a you're gonna see a, a pattern of that where um the actual news is incredibly underwhelming and if kaneko really did truly and genuinely and honestly and truthfully and another couple of synonyms uh, care about it then he would just say it as is and not like pointlessly um again sensationalize it oh dude this is this is a banger you're gonna love this one okay you yeah i'm talking to you you might be unable to play roblox soon no not roblox no I can't play- I'm not gonna be able to play Roblox. You heard the news, folks. You're gonna be unable to play Roblox soon. If you're in the 0.2% of gamers that still use Windows 32-bit. <laughs> An operating system that came out over 30 years ago. Oh, shit. You're gonna be unable to play Roblox. <laughs> Fuck. I, um, last night, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. Last night, um, I, for like an hour and a half, cataloged 25 Kaneko Kitten videos that, uh, were on completely useless or just like non sequitur kind of videos that, like, the discussion was pointless or it was clickbait or like dramatization. I cataloged just 25, including a number of recent ones and then a number of other ones that are a little bit older. I could have gone further as he has over like a thousand videos that are like the same formula, but, um, I actually had to stop myself. It was, it was, it was melting my brain. It was melting my brain. I will do a breakdown of it, uh, either now or like I'll get there or something. I don't know. We'll see how I edit this video. 
Torture is gonna be the name of this segment. Here's a video by Kaneko where he sensationalizes the fact that Roblox removed less than 10 faces from the platform. Here's a video called Roblox is Falling Apart, a video where despite the title and blatant clickbait, it is an issue that only uh, affects the most notable developers on Roblox. Here's a video fully dedicated pretty much to an article that was written. I don't know why you needed to make this. You could have just retweeted the article. Roblox changed bacon hairs. What do I even say about this? They changed the head and the face. You could blink and miss them. I just now realized he made an even bigger clickbait issue on bacon hairs claiming that they were being removed three years ago. Here's a video that he made um, because Roblox, get this, remastered their faces on older avatars. He actually sat down, saw this news, and decided to make a video about it. Roblox never learns. A video not even about a problem. It is about the reaction to the problem um, that wasn't even a real problem. It was not a real problem. He is just talking about people reacting to it and still blaming Roblox somehow for the immature and fake reaction that they had to the not real problem. The worst Roblox message ever. This video is about a single message that his friend received. Here's a video clickbaiting that Roblox Limiteds are gone. Here's another video about Roblox upsetting people. Here's a video just titled, This is an awful idea, Roblox. It's because a feature is in beta. Here's Roblox new update isn't good. It's a second part or the first part of the video that I mentioned previously, just as pointless. Roblox bought another company. Wow, I can't believe capitalism did the thing that it does when it when it does this. Why is this on Roblox? It's just him feeding a marketing campaign. He does this a lot. This shouldn't be allowed, Roblox. Um, again, this has nothing to do with Roblox. It's an independent dev team that's overpricing their shit. What is Roblox gonna do about this? What is Roblox gonna do, bro? They gonna dismantle capitalism? Roblox, you gotta seize the means of production. <laughs> Roblox gonna seize the means of production. Flamingo's videos were stolen. Pointless fucking drama. Zero brain power. You easily just cheer for your fucking team. This video is called No. It's just pointless dramatization. Literally nobody cares about this. It's just Roblox is not available on an esoteric system that nobody uses. Lanky box has gone to. I'm not even doing this. Seriously, Roblox. Lol. Uh, this video is really like petty because he's trying to pretend like he's like above the um the drama of it when in reality he is like literally the main person who peddles it. Genuinely wake up in the morning and get upset at a couple of letters in the Roblox logo. You're gonna see this a lot if you look at his videos where he is like the cause of a problem but doesn't want to admit it so he'll like be like guys the, Ro the Roblox commentary community is like super toxic like who did this? Who, who did it? Was it you? It certainly wasn't me. God okay that's all of them. I, I can't do it anymore. It really should come as no surprise that um, Kaneko after all of these years just like didn't care. Um... It was pretty obvious by like the dog shit that he was pumping out. Um, I don't know to anybody who actually really thought about it. And this is the kind of thing that I that I want that I want to talk about, like regarding Kadeko's like image or whatever. Um, because I can already see this lazy ass rebuttal coming from like a mile away, and I'm just gonna like Jackie Robinson like skin hit that because I'm, I'm not going to take that bullshit uh no despite what some uh devotees to kaneko may be rushing to say in the comment section kaneko kitten is not fucking news um now let me explain to you why you know what actually is news if you really care about like the roblox platform or something um literally all of the accounts that he pulls information from oftentimes just verbatim those people at least actually do like you know softcore journalism and, and here's the thing i don't know if you know this but um when like a journalist or you know someone you know a news reporter or something goes into that business or wants to do reporting or wants to cover the news or get into politics just cover an issue and inform people about an issue that they care about um they, uh, they, they at least care about the issue, uh, dare I say. Um, th that may sound like a bold statement, but um, they at least care about journalism. They at least care about the stuff that they are like reporting on, informing people on, uh, and they're not like just doing it for money spreading hate to children. Kaneko Kitten is not fucking news. Let that be very clear. This car video that he did, uh, that I actually recorded, incidentally, I recorded my actual first reaction to it uh, on a whim. I wasn't even expecting to like react to it, but I just kind of jumped into it. And um, I'm not gonna lie, this video uh, made my blood boil absolutely made my blood boil and uh what's made even worse is the fact that you have his fans in the comment section just like eating it up 
like a full course meal just letting him spit in their faces uh for five and a half minutes straight the video is like masquerading as like hey guys i've really matured you know i you know i wasn't like me before and that's like what i think that's what the little impressionable like middle schoolers who watch kaneko took away from the video in the comment section like because they're they're coming at this with like such a warped understanding of him and uh, like a biased perspective to be in his favor uh and they're not actually like listening to what he's saying or taking it to heart or really thinking about it at all um dare i say and like let me explain to you the difference between like maturing and what kaneko did which is just like shamelessly grifting and um admitting to it because he thinks that he's at a point where he can't lose anything he point blank admits to in like the first minute of the video that a majority of the stuff that he made videos on he never cared about he never cared about them at all which is the kind of key difference between like maturing and grifting someone who matures at some point did care about some of the previous things that they may have uh you know talked about you know at least when they made it like they they did actually care about it and they weren't like being fake about it Kaneko is just completely fake about it he never cared about it by his own omission he did it just for money um which is which is a big shock i'm i'm shocked that th that the guy that makes videos on lanky box doing a brand um doing a brand deal i'm surprised that guy would be doing it just for the money because at the end of the day i knew what i was doing and i made a fuck ton of money doing it reading this comment section like going into the comment section for this video is like st stepping on a nail um jesus christ every single comment it like hits you at first like oh damn that's a wow wow people are really disappointing and then you just keep thinking about it and it keeps hurting the more you think about it the comments here are glazing this man up like a fucking donut it's so effortless and easy like i could shit out those videos multiple times a day you put a lot of effort into your youtube and it's very respectable when he this entire video just was spitting in people's faces being like hey i grifted you i lied about saying that what i you know cared about is i don't i never actually really cared about it i did it all for money um and i better yet i actually pushed intentionally hateful material because i knew that it was going to get me more money um and i did it uh targeting an audience of like young kids and teens um please like please tell me you can see the problem here please tell me i am not alone Poli i could not be the only one i saw i looked at videos like talking about Kaneko Kitten in the past month, uh, looked for a single video that even mentioned this, you know, a car confession with 100,000 views. All the other ones were about the stuff with uh, Narpy, and I found one, a total of one video even mentioning it. It has 300 views. Shout out to this guy. Um, though, I... I don't I don't think it's like that I don't think he really I don't think I don't even think this guy got the point of it and I don't know how it, it, it's so on the nose he is just telling you how he grifted and manipulated people for money for years I don't know how more people do not see that the video has a 99% like ratio less than 1% of people disliked it People don't know how truly bad this guy is and how bad he has been forever. He's a, he's on camera here admitting that he is just an opportunistic fucking soulless grifter who intentionally spread hate for money. He is just on camera admitting all of that. Not only that, but he's also admitting that he panders to kids, like young kids between the ages of like 13 to 15. He's admitting, again, like I said, that he didn't fucking even care about the shit that he was saying, that it was insignificant, that he was intentionally spreading hate for money because it's what got the most money. <sighs> Kaneko Kitten is actually like a career misinformation spreader. Like to to quote the words of uh, uh, Loppy, except this time it's in an actually applicable context. You just love spreading hate. 
and you know on the internet that's just not a cool thing to do no but all in all seriousness when i talk about bad shit i try and actually give a solution i try and actually you know make something a better place or at least make it funny or do it because i'm interested in the topic you know i don't just talk about bad stuff just pointlessly to dramatize and inflame people and i hope that's well understood by my track record honestly in a way though uh it is kind of karmic justice because out of all the things that would have taken Kaneko's image down in the public eye after years of spreading pointless misinformation and bullshit inflaming topics that nobody cares about so fucking juicy that his downfall would be somebody else spreading misinformation and inflaming issues about him. I crave it, yes. Oh, please, kitten. Dude! Ah! Dude! Where's my soundboard? Run a bet, turbo. Run a bet, turbo. Run a hey there, people. I'm Brian Brown. They say I'm the cutest boy in town. My car ain't fast. My teeth aren't shiny. But I tell all my fans they can kiss my hiney. Here I am at a famous school. I dress like shit and I act like it too. I got this YouTuber here who wants to fuck me on Discord. Let him... Send me some nudes and maybe, like, <laughs> I do not think I'm too extreme and I'm a miserable son of a bitch. I'm gonna grift all your kids and be real rich. <laughs> you fucking loser. <laughs> that's, that's how it's done, boy.